So I need you to do a quick favor for me and take a look at your knee. Take a look at your kneecap and take a look at your shin bone. There's a space in between there where your tendon is. And if you feel pain there, after you landed from jumps or you're cutting or after playing a lot of basketball for a while, more than likely you probably have jumper's knee or patellar tendinopathy. Basically what that is is when you feel that pain or sometimes you get an injury from over usage and putting too much stress on your knees or your body overall. From this stress, you can get tears, inflammation, you can get swelling or that stiffness, that little weird feeling you get when you can't bend or straighten out your leg like you need to. Overall, you get jumper's knee from not really handling the load that you put on your knee overall. So this can come from basically when you're going from a light training session to a very intense or high volume training session or you're going from a light basketball workout to a very intense basketball workout for a more practical example saying you go from lifting weights and you're lifting 100 pounds to trying to squat 200 pounds the next time it's not a healthy jump or if you're looking at from training on a court doing some light shots and stationary ball handling one day and then the very next day you're going out playing one-on-one -on -one for two hours or you're playing full court pickup for two or three hours both of those are very high spikes and jumps in your training and it's not healthy overall for your knee it's best if we go from a light training session to a little bit more intense we progressively overload so if you're in a weight room you're adding five pounds instead of adding 50 pounds if you're training on the court, you add one day of one-on-one -on -one or one day of playing and you only play for maybe 30 minutes. Just depending on what your body can tolerate and what you've been doing before. When you have a very high jump and spike in your training intensity and training volume and you're adding way too much too soon, that's when you start feeling this pain and you have these injuries. So I think we have to be more strategic and smarter about having our bodies adapt to these workouts and adapt to the stimulus that we're adding to our bodies rather than just making these crazy high jumps and spikes. And being aware of improper loading and it comes down to more of the mechanics. Basically how our body takes the load, having the right joints being at the right angles, our bodies being mobile enough, the right muscles firing, uh, body's being flexible enough to land from these jumps and accepting that load and making sure we're transferring that force how it should be and not making sure we're not having tennis take that load and we're having the muscles take the load and without addressing these issues we're going to keep having problems so how do we really fix these problems i'll get into that with the next video so stay tuned subscribe to this channel like this video comment what else you need to know from me we'll get into more of it